Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack mm. is when we take a few minutes, just a short break during our daily hectic schedules, just to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today, all the way from Accra in Ghana, is Mawuli Jega. Hello, Mawuli. How are you today? Hi. Fine. I'm fine. I'm very well. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Art Snack. I really appreciate that you were able to come out today and well, speak with us. Congrats. Thank you. So, Hi. for the viewers, Mawuli was born with a special condition, um, Asperger's syndrome. He's high uh, functioning when it comes to the art. What I can say from his early childhood um, challenges. Well, well, we found out he, um, he was hearing impaired when he was 18 months. And he was, um, first they gave him, that was in England, and they gave him um, hearing aids. But, you know, we went back and forth and it didn't look like that because he was, he was actually, they found that he was really, um, what is the word, uh, really, really uh, hearing impaired. So, and we all know that the hearing aids will magnify what you hear. So it didn't look like you didn't hear anything. So basically the, the hearing aids were not really working. So we decided to do a cochlear implant. So we had one, that one done in, in Kansas, Missouri, the US. And uh, he was implanted at the four and a half in December 20, in December 2000, he was implanted. Uh, first week, and then he was uh, turned on, I think, end of December. So since then, we, we well, he went to an oral school in Kansas, St. Joseph's, um, St. Joseph's um, hearing school for the deaf in, uh, in um, Ledexa, Kansas. And we were there for a while. So, but that was a strictly oral school. It wasn't working. Then we found out he had other issues. I mean, with the autism, he's actually Asperger's. Asperger's, uh, okay. Yes, so he has Asperger's syndrome. So that's, he's very high functioning, but some things are just not, you know, gelling. And one of them seems to be a block for reading. I mean, he cannot string more than three, three words together. I mean, if you give him a word search or you give him a this thing or even individual letters, a words or something, I mean, he's fantastic. He even things I can do when he will do them, but when he has to form sentences. Yes, after it's, three it's or challenging. Four, okay. Yeah, after three or four, it becomes a challenge. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like it's dyslexia. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's just there's some kind of block there. For, so so Asperger's syndrome, when it comes to visual arts and music, according to his family, his mom, Sylvia, who is in the background here, he has been drawing since he was a very small child. And so Mawuli has created a body of work and we are so impressed with his creations today that we, we really wanted to, to have the opportunity to speak with him. So Mawuli, tell me what you like to paint. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like painting sceneries. I like painting nature. Okay, very good. And we're happy to have um, interpreter Neodati to assist uh, Mawuli today. So Mawuli loves to paint scenery and nature. Now, Mawuli, I see we have a painting right here. Please tell me a little bit about this painting. What? This is a painting of an African man. Wait, wait, wait. Wearing African costume. Okay. Four parts. He's playing an African drum. Yes. The big African drum. 
Sun. There are stars in my picture. Sun. Black stars. Sun. And bed. And bed. And, and, and bed. Okay, lovely. And uh, what um, media did you use? Is this acrylic paint? So yes, he used acrylic paint. Acrylic. Okay, very good. So an African drummer. Please show us another one of your paintings, Mawuli. Okay, so tell me a bit about this painting. So this painting is of an, Af of an African scenery. There's sand at the beach. Yes. And um, the, the, the African canoes and fishermen that go to sea. And, and the blue water. And okay. open green water. Now maybe you can bring I it. I painted also the clouds. Uh huh. Wow. To show the nature of an African setting, um, farming, uh, fishing uh, center. Okay. Now, um, Neodate, can you bring the, the painting close to the camera so we can take a look at it? Yes. Yes. Oh, lovely. Bring it a little closer. So we can see some details. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, yes, so we can see the sand, um, the canoes. Very good. Beautiful work, um, Mawuli. Beautiful. So it's acrylic on canvas. All right. Now let us look at another um, example of Mawuli's work. Let us look at another painting. Okay, so this one. The picture Wow. So this is a picture of a saxophonist. Oh. The concept of a musician. Excellent. I love this painting because I love to paint musicians too. You can see saxophone, trumpet. Yeah. So this is one of my favorites, Maruli. I love this one. So we have a saxophonist and he's out there ready for the concert. Gorgeous painting. Let's look at another example. Okay. So this is a painting of a, of a, of a girl in a rural setting in yeah. Africa. In Ghana, precisely. It's uh, yeah. The girl is going uh, to fetch water, oh. like it is done well, in our rural areas. She's carrying the the what the pot on her head. Yes. I'm showing rays of sun to show show the, the brightness and the uh, fun in the African setting. Okay, so it's a rural setting and the girl has a um, pot on her head to carry her goods. Okay, so there are quite a um, few great varieties. We have time for one more painting. Maybe let's look at one more. Oh, yes, yes, we can see some details there. Thank you. Okay, so this one. Please tell me what we're we're seeing here. What um, is the image? What is this uh, painting about? So uh, these are African homes. Okay. Mud huts. Oh, mud huts. Okay, so another rural um, setting. And, and I have bubbles in there. I, I painted bubbles in there. Okay, the wonderful. Um, it's a nighttime um, uh, painting, a nighttime painting of an African setting. 
with bubbles in there to give it a, a, a nice contrast. Okay, beautiful. Now, can uh, Mawuli's teacher just um, tell us a little bit about his work? Um, Mawuli's art teacher, Alexander Mensa Puamali. So please um, tell us a little bit about uh, the work that you've been doing with Mawuli. Okay. Mawuli is a visual artist and he's able to interpret, observe and interpret work and then draw them and add his own imaginations to them. So that's how we start with him. Um, he's able to see tones, contrast, and use color and with harmonious um, interpretation that suits his mood. So that's Maori for you. Apart from these, he's good with still life. We have some still life work over here. He's very good with still life. Okay. And yes. So what um oh like it's still that. like oh yes yes beautiful That's and cool. it's all his work is all acrylic on um stretch canvas yes 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 that is beautiful beautiful so how can the viewers see more of Mauli's work okay if you want to see more of his work um he has a website that you can visit yes so the address is https and then you have slash maulichigar.vixsite.com slash website okay so, so i will put um, mawili's website address right here in the video so the viewers can go and take a look at his work and contact you if they want to buy sir so that's yes. what we want Thank you so much, Mawuli, for sharing your time with us today and sharing your amazing work. Thanks so much to uh, the temperature and, and it also um, it says, uh, Sylvia Walton and our teacher, Alexander Mensa. We're so happy that you could also um, assist uh, Mawuli at this um, event, you know, to promote his work. Thank you so much, everyone. And so viewers, tune in tomorrow for another interesting session with a surprise artist. You can also check out my work at JennyLynnJames.com art and visit my Instagram and Facebook pages, Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when we speak to another artist on Art Snack. Thank you so much, everybody.